What's going on guys? I'm going to be real and raw with you right here. I am warming up my peaches and I'm going to explain why. We freeze a lot of good fruit when we get it. And we got some amazing peaches the other month. So we froze up like four or five of these containers plus a bunch of Ziploc bags full of frozen peaches. And now, as you can see, I'm warming them up in hot water. Now, the water isn't so hot that my hands can't stand the, the temperature of it, because that would be, you know, if it can ruin my hand, but if I stick my hand in hot water and it ruins my hand, it's gonna ruin the food. So the water should be just warm enough so it's like a hot tub, like it's pretty dang hot, but it's not gonna destroy my hand. If it's not gonna destroy my hand, it's not gonna destroy the food, that's good for my mood. I like fresh, raw living food. It makes me feel like I'm just on another level. And so, I soak the peaches in warm water, just like that, for about 10, 15, 20 minutes. And uh, they're way better that way. Because if they're frozen, it's like, oh god, I'm like biting into like these ice crystals and it's making me cold afterwards. I used to drink a bunch of hot water to warm up after. And when they're warm like this, they taste so good, like they've just come off the tree on from a hot summer's day. They're really, really good. So they've been soaking now for about 10 minutes. We're gonna see how they taste here. Yeah, stick the hand in there, see how they are. Some of them are still kind of cold because they didn't warm evenly. That's what you get for not using a microwave, I guess. Mm. Insane. If you can get your hands on some really awesome peaches near the end of your next summer, whenever peaches are in peak season for you, buy a bunch and freeze them, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's good. Now, what I'm about to show you is a mess, but it's the aftermath of making a smoothie without cleaning up. So I just made this smoothie. It's got bananas, spinach, and blueberries in it. And it's really good. Bananas, spinach, blueberries, and dates. Put about three or four dates in there as well. So that's the smoothie. Really good stuff. And this is what the countertop looks like when you make it all. Bunch of bananas dates that are being soaked in water. You always want to rehydrate your dates. Frozen blueberries, which are going to go back in the freezer right now. And the spinach. Now, this whole box of spinach is like 10 bucks. Quite expensive, but it's organic. It's good stuff, like really tasty spinach for someone like myself who's not a huge spinach guy, but it's good spinach, but it's 10 bucks. And I measured how much protein, how many grams of protein is in this whole box. And it's like 14 grams of protein. 14 grams of protein for $10. That's not a good deal. If you compare it to something like this stuff right here, this hemp protein, this hemp protein, this whole box costs like, or this whole container, this whole tub right here costs like uh, 20 bucks. And there's 500 grams there. And uh, for, for three tablespoons, you're getting 15 grams of protein. How many servings per in this whole thing? Well, I'll have to show you the math on the uh, camera here. But there's 30 grams per serving, and there's 450 grams in the whole dang thing. So you do the math. There's well over 10 servings. There's probably like uh, 15 servings or something. Yeah, about 15 servings, I think, if my math is correct. And you're getting 15 grams per serving, and this whole thing is only 20 bucks. Ow. But, there's a problem with this stuff. The problem with this stuff, hemp protein, it was just pure organic hemp protein. Organic hemp protein is the only ingredient. The issue with it is that it doesn't digest well because it's so concentrated. It's, so, it's not a whole food. It's protein isolate, basically. Whereas spinach, this digests way better, man. You put a, spinach, a bunch of spinach in a smoothie and it's gonna go down and your body's gonna know what to do with it. Because in nature, you could actually eat spinach. In nature, you could never have just hemp protein. That stuff doesn't exist in nature. So yes, it's extremely high in protein. 
but your digestion is going to be so messed up after. I've tried it a couple times, it doesn't work for me. So I'd much rather have a lot less protein in my diet and have digestion be on point than have an extreme amount of protein and have my digestion be all messed up. Mm. So, hope you learned something there. If you guys want a ton of smoothie recipes, way more advanced than this little simple date, banana, spinach, blueberry smoothie, then you can check out my clean and simple recipe ebook in the link below, where you'll also get a bunch of zucchini noodle pasta sauce recipes, some salad dressing recipes, some juice recipes, and some sushi recipes, and some food bar recipes, which you can make in your dehydrator if you got a dehydrator. Just some clean and simple raw food recipes that you can make this winter, or even next summer, if you so choose. Well, that's it for now guys. Peace out, thanks for watching. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed already, might as well subscribe and join the journey. Peace out.